Okay guys, so basically I'm gonna be showing you how to make um basically like a leash. Especially like whenever you pick up something and then um or like whenever you put something it will like attach it to you. You can spin it around and bring it everywhere. But um also Whenever you, um, whenever you basically put on an anchored part, this is what happens to you. That is what happens to you. You just go straight into the floor. Haha. <coughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm going to get a tool, put in a remote event, put in a local script, and put in a normal script. And you're going to put in a part, and then you're just going to name it handle. Oops. Handle. Um. And basically, dot parent dot um, equipped to max function mouse mouse button one up um and then I forgot the rest oh it was down down and then I sent it was connect function Yeah, okay. So then it was um script dot parent dot remote remote event um fire server I think it was mouse dot target mouse dot target surface. And then, yeah. Basically, this one is the one that um, I've already done. So, I'll just name this one. Um, play. Pull. Okay, now. We're going to close out of the little strip and then you're going to do um strict up parent wait for child remote event and then it was strict up parent dot remote event On server event, connect function, mouse, card it. Oh, wait a minute, it was player. I got a little confused. Player, card it. And then you're going to do local rope constraint equals instance dot new rope constraint and you're going to do local attachment zero or attachment zero equals um also instance dot new but this time it's going to be an attachment and you're going to copy this again then change the zero to a one and then you're going to do attachment zero dot parent equals card in attachment attachment one dot parent equals script dot parent dot parent 
which equals the player's character. But then, um, you're gonna just, let me show you. If it is R15, you're going to do upper torso, but if it is R6, you're going to do torso. So basically, if your game is like R6, you're going to do torso, but if your game is um, R15, then you're going to do upper torso. Now next, you're going to do rope constraint dot color equals anything that you want. For me, anything that you want, but for me, I'm gonna just do um, red color dot new blocks. You can change it to any color that you like. But then now, rope constraint dot visible equals true, and then do rope constraint dot parent equals strip dot parent dot parent dot upper torso then change it to upper torso if your game is r15 or r6 or one so basically friends oh yeah you also have to do rope constraint dot attachment zero equals just attachment zero well, constraint dot attachment one equals attachment one. Now you can go ahead and try it out. And then, boom. This is. This was just a cool dot. Oh, there it is basically watch this. I don't know why there's a random part here, but who cares? Right now if you see it, if we quit it, then it does that. Same for that. And then now I'm gonna show you how to make a tool that removes it. So basically, I'm gonna go to the complete tool and then name it Rope Remover. Or let's say Leash Remover. Put another space randomly. Leash Remover. Now you're going to do um, Leash. And that leash, and then you're going to go into here, and then you're going to go ahead and do um, target dot attachment attachment destroy, and then you're going to go here. And then paste that and then do dot attachment. Oops. Attachment. Destroy. Boom. But then now you're just going to remove this. Um, and then you're going to just remove um, all of this. And you're going to do strip dot parent dot parent dot upper torso you then you have to change it to r6 if your game is r6 and then you're going to do dot rope constraint um destroy now Wait, there's something in here. Got your chest. Jesus. Okay. You're just gonna change your transparency to um one. You're going to change. Don't change it to anchor. This is that they can't um collide. And you're going to put them into um starter pack if you want to. You can move. 
just remove those sensors with just this part. Um, and then now, you can leash something to you, and then you can remove the leash from something. So if you leash yourself to the base plate, don't worry, you can just remove the leash. Yeah, simple as that. Um, the model will be in the description if you don't want to tote it. Um, and yeah, you can leash it. Oh no, you can leash it as many times as you want. So, come on, there. Um, leash, 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 leash. leash. Yeah, it's pretty fun to mess around with. 